Good morning, everybody, on this Saturday, February 15th. And I'm sorry about not closing the vlog last night. John and I decided to drink some champagne and uh, we ended up drinking two bottles of champagne and I drank too much. <laughs> so <laughs> that's why I didn't close the vlog out last night because I was not all together here. <laughs> it doesn't happen often, but we decided to go ahead and do it. It doesn't happen often that we are kid free as well. So anyway, it is, what time is it? Uh, you don't know. Hold on, I have my watch on. Why don't I just look at my watch? It is 10.35. We're gonna go to a restaurant in an hour, but I think there are some uh, outlets here in Gettysburg. I think we're gonna run to the outlets real quick. Um, yeah, I didn't tell John, but I think we're running to the outlets real quick because I promised Neil that while we were down here, and I totally forgot until I remembered. Um, <laughs> I, I, I promised Neil that we would go. Uh, he needs a new wallet, and he was gonna buy some like super expensive wallet, and I was like, no, don't do that. That's ridiculous. Like, do you remember what it's called? Ridgeline or something? Yeah, some. Cr it's like eighty dollars for this wallet. I was like, that is just not smart. He's like, but I don't know where else to find a wallet. I was like, I don't know. Go down to Wilson's Leather down at the outlets. And he's like, I don't want to drive the whole way to Gettysburg just to buy a wallet. So I was like, well, your dad and I are going to be there in, a, in like a week or two. I forget, like I said, I don't forget when we were talking about this, but I said, we're, we'll be down there a little bit. We'll stop and see what kind of wallets they have. I feel like this turtleneck's making me look like I have like four chins. It might just be the angle that I'm holding the camera. Anyway, um, I do, I did wear a turtleneck today because it is like 20 degrees outside right now. Hey Siri. What is the temperature in Gettysburg, PA? It's 25 degrees outside. Ooh, it warmed up, it's 25 degrees outside. Um, anyway, I have my turtleneck on. I also have this uh, fuzzy sweater thing that I got from Madison and Mallory in my mystery box. The problem is that that's white and I did do makeup today. Uh, it's not white, it's like off white. Um, so I'm slightly concerned I might get makeup on it because I did not bring a transfer proof foundation, which I should have done, but I did not. Um, so I have that, but I also have my sweatshirt. So I think if we go to the outlets, I think I might just wear, I brought that because we might go on a ghost tour this afternoon or this evening, it's at six o'clock. I say might because I called and left them a message three days ago now. What day is today? Saturday. I called and left them a message on Thursday, Wednesday, Wednesday and they never call me back. So yeah, I don't know if we're gonna be able to go on this ghost tour tonight or not. It's a, it's a walking tour and it's gonna be cold. So um, that's why I brought that to like wear my turtleneck, wear the white, off-white top, and then wear my sweater or sweatshirt on top of it if we're gonna go for a walk. Of course, my legs will be cold, but nonetheless, my upper body will be warm. Um, so I'm not gonna put that on now because I think we are gonna run to the outlets. The place we're going to for lunch doesn't open until 11.30 and we should be able to be at the outlets and back in less than an hour. It's only like five minutes away. Um, there's not much in Gettysburg, if you guys are not aware. Gettysburg is... Other than the historic. The historical stuff, yeah. So as long as you like the historical stuff. And the downtown is cute. There's a lot of little shops, which is why we keep coming downtown. Um, and where the hotel is, it's right on the square. So in the center of Gettysburg, there is a roundabout. And in, so it's Gettysburg Square. And the hotel is right on the square. It's on one of the, the four corners. Of, uh, it's a roundabout, but you know what I mean? It's one of the corners of, of the square. Um, and there's a couple of, re there's a lot of restaurants actually right near here kind of there's like half a de half a dozen restaurants within like one block of us um and there's a bunch of just little shops so it's kind of cool um just to walk around and go shopping down here as well and we're in a really quiet part of the um hotel the, the only window i think you guys we're literally in the same room we've been in this room this is the third time we've been in this room this specific room um the only windows are the ones that are up there so like there's no other windows in the room so and it's really quiet we don't get any street noise well we've gotten a couple of when like super big trucks will come through every once in a while we'll hear a couple of bangs but for the most part it's very very quiet in this corner of the hotel um and like i said we've been in this specific room three times now i have a bit of a headache from the drinking last night <laughs> i took two ibuprofen i'm not sure how much they're working though so 
Anyway, I wanted to say good morning to you all. We're gonna go shopping and then we're gonna go to lunch. And then, I don't know, I also have a brewery experience where we we're, that we might do later. And we also have a wine tasting that we can do later. So the winery, the wine tasting is a block from here. The brewery is actually over near the outlets, but the restaurant we're gonna have lunch at is here in town. But it, again, it's like, no more than 10 minutes away like down the street back it's not a big long distance so anyhow i'm gonna go ahead and put the camera down and we're gonna go shopping and then lunch and then we'll figure out the rest of the day from there so i'll see you guys later bye y'all we've had quite a day <laughs> <laughs> John's over there chuckling. I don't know if the, the camera's picking it up or not. It is 3.38. So we went to the outlets and got Neil a wallet, which is still in the car, I think. Um, like I FaceTimed him and he picked one out and we bought it for him. And anyway, then we went to lunch, which was good. It was in this little tiny tavern, which was basically in the basement of a house. And like... We were all squished in there. Like I, uh, our table was sitting there and then like between our table and the table beside us was maybe two or three inches. Yeah. Anyway, so we ate lunch. Then we went to, I got a um, Groupon for the Gettysburg Brewery or the Brewery of Gettysburg, something like that. So we went over there and basically all it was was you get $30 credit. Okay. So, John had a sampler, he had four beers, and then we had $20 left, and it was $15, we got also got a growler and a glass. So it was $15 to fill up the growler. So we filled up the growler, we still had five other, five more dollars. So he ended up, they ended up selling us a second glass for an additional $5, that's what it looks like. So it's the Battlefield Brew Works is what it's called. Battlefield Brew Works. Um, anyway, that's what the glass looks like. So we ended up getting two glasses and then the um, growler filled up. Well, that's where it starts to get interesting because we got in the car and John put the growler in the, on the floor in the back seat behind the passenger seat. And we're driving down the road and I turned one way and I had to, and I was going the wrong direction. So I had to turn around. So I, you know, turned into the Walmart parking lot and then made a U-turn. All of a sudden, John Hearn hears a pop from the back seat. And he turns around, he looks. The glass of the jug, of the growler, at the bottom of the growler, like down here, this much, split. And it literally split the whole way around the entire jug. A gallon of beer spilled into the back seat of my car. My car my Passat, my three-year-old Passat. My baby. Yeah, John just said my baby. I don't think you heard him, but he said my baby. My, my, my baby. <laughs> Car that has less than 30,000 miles on it. So, we drove back to the brewery. They gave him a new growler. And then we went to Walmart and we bought carpet cleaner, we bought wipes, which by the way, I bought seventh generation wipes because I'm trying to be a little bit more cognizant of like chemicals and stuff. So I've been trying to do a better job of buying like um, cleaning products that are like any, seventh generation, bought seventh generation wipes. I looked at it and it was orange. I figured it was citrus scent. It wasn't citrus scent. <laughs> what was the scent? What? What's the scent lemongrass. of? Lemongrass. Oh my gosh, it smells terrible. <laughs> John said he's gonna take them into school and use them there. Cause I was, I was like, I wanna take these back. Like that's how bad I don't like, that's how much I don't like the scent. Like I was literally gonna drive back to Walmart and return them and just be like, they smell rancid. But he said he's gonna take them into school and use them in school. Anyway, my hands still smell like them. Anyway, I don't like lemongrass scent. I don't recommend it. So we went to a car wash. Now I do have heavy duty um, like snow mats. And it, I mean, it's like, you know, half an inch deep. So it did grab a good chunk of the beer, but not all of it. So we got carpet cleaner. John was, and it's cold outside, by the way. It's like 33 degrees right now and at three o'clock in the afternoon. So he's out there like, 
he's scrubbing the carpet and we're wiping down the inside of the car we got some disinfectant spray we've got deodorizing spray all sorts of stuff long story short my car reeks of sour beer and it's currently in the parking garage with the windows cracked open a little bit um we're gonna go to j and p winery which is just a block down the road down the road here um, but we're gonna go down to the winery. We got another Groupon for there, and we know that that's John actually joined their um, club. They have a case club, so he actually joined their case club. So he he likes their wine. So we know that that's at least gonna be good. He didn't. He was not a big fan of the the beers that he had at the brewery, um, the whatever the Battlefield Brew Pub or whatever it's called. Um, anyway, so we're gonna go to the winery, and then we're gonna go back and roll up the windows before it gets too late in the day. But um, yeah. It's been a cluster. Happy birthday! Adventure! <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go to the winery. We're gonna do a wine tasting and a, a get a charcuterie board. And John's probably gonna buy a bottle of wine. Because we drank all of the champagne that we bought last night. Yeah. yeah. I'm just gonna buy a bottle. John's probably gonna buy a case of wine. <laughs> Same. Alright. Anyway, we're gonna go and we will see you guys later. Well y'all, before it gets too late and I forget to close out the vlog, I wanted to do that now. It is 8.40, however, we did go to the liquor store and John got some more wine, but I got a new vodka to try. I got this right here. I've never really tried it before. It's Pravda, Pravda vodka. I don't know. The most coolest part about it is that it came with two free glasses. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> I'm going to have some vodka and John's going to have some wine. He actually got, um, we've had this before, Verdi Champagne. And then we've also had, uh, he also got the, one of the same champagnes that he had last night. Um, some sort of French stuff. I don't know. But, so he got two bottles of champagne and I got my bottle of vodka. So, we are going to go get in the hot tub. And that's probably too much information, but we're going to get in the hot tub and we're going to spend a couple hours just hanging out, drinking, and celebrating the birth of my wonderful husband. <laughs> so, anyway, that's going to be it for today's vlog. Uh, nothing really else happened too much since I talked to you last. We went to the winery and we had our wine tasting. We ended up not buying any wine there. Um, and then we came back here for a little bit. Then we went to dinner at a restaurant right across the street, which we've gone to very uh, many, many times, actually. It's called the Blue and Gray uh, Bar and Grill. And we've gone there. Tonight, I got wings and a salad. John got wings, a salad, and a steak. Because uh, the, ste the steak came with two sides. So he got just like a double salad. So he got a big salad and then his steak and wings. Um, we ended up bringing... I should have only bought six wings. I bought a dozen wings should about six um but we ended up bringing a dozen wings home we each had we each ate six and brought six home and then john brought home about half of his steak so that's gonna be it for the night today on february 15th of 2020 i am thankful for my husband he just blew raspberries at me from the, the bathroom um but I'm thankful for my husband. I'm thankful that he's here. I'm thankful that he hasn't gotten sick of my stuff yet. <laughs> he's still hanging out. Uh, almost 22 years later. We're, we're about two months, two months short of 22 two years. We met mid-April, uh, 22 years ago, 1998. So I don't feel like I'm old enough to have been with my husband for 22 years. Anyway, that's gonna be it for tonight. I am thankful for my husband. Mr. Johnny Mac. <laughs> anyway, I hope today was better than yesterday and I hope tomorrow will be just a little bit better than today. I hope y'all are having a great day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.